amazing day. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about what happened in my experience with scale insect. Now, I've had scale insect many times in my collections and they're always sort of quite big with a little bit of a bump on them, so I'm very familiar with what they look like. But I got caught out with the recent experience. I'm going to explain to you about this here. Uh, a few days ago, I bought a lovely cactus from a wonderful garden centre. And when I was looking at it, obviously I've got good eyesight and I always check plants I'm buying for bugs and rot and things like that. And I'm going to be making a future video in the coming weeks on what to look for when buying cactus and succulent plants. So look out for that video, guys. And obviously I examine every plant I'm picking up and buying. And I looked at this one, and this one here was labelled Cactus Lucky. Obviously there's no such thing as Cactus Lucky in a lot of garden centres. Unfortunately, don't label the correct labelling on them. Luckily, I'm, I'm quite experienced with cactus plants, so I've got an idea what type of genus they are, even if I don't know the exact variety. And I knew that this cactus was obviously some type of Echinopsis. Obviously an Echinopsis hybrid. Now, because there's so many hybrids now on the market with all types of plants, a lot of no IDs, um, I just thought that this was obviously a hybrid that had been crossed with many other, many other types of, even other Echinopsis or another cactus. And the reason why I thought that is because on the skin, it's covered with absolutely lots of tiny little markings all over it, little tiny cream coloured markings. And the speckling is almost identical to what you see on quite a few other types of cactus plants, such as Astrophyta, most commonly with Astrophytum asterius and also Astrophytum ornatum. And I'll just show you, this is my Astrophytum ornatum here. And that has lots of like tiny little white sort of speckles all over it. Very, very similar with the markings. This is just down to um, how these plants actually look. They're very pretty. Gorgeous actually with all the speckling on them. And it's not unfamiliar to see cactus with these type of markings on them. So I just assumed that this one I bought was that. As I say, I looked at it very carefully. No signs of pests or bugs. Anyway, when I got it home, I actually looked at it through a magnifying glass, which I do with all my new plants. I go through them because you can't really do them when at the garden centre, especially when it's busy. And I looked close and went, oh my God. I actually miss like these tiny little beautiful, they actually look like beautiful markings are actually scale insect. I've never seen scale insect like it because I've only ever seen scale insect where it's quite big with a little bump on. The typical type of scale insect you see, I've had it on my umbrella plants always coming down with it. I just take it off with a bit of isopropyl alcohol and keep treating it and it works, works a treat. But I've never seen it on cactus like this before, not in the patterning. So obviously now I've found that this plant has got it, which was disappointing, but I was more disappointed it's not some type of rare type of Echinopsis variety than anything else, because to be honest, when it comes to scale, I find it quite easy to treat. And what I'm gonna be doing in this video is I'm gonna be showing you how I am going to treat this plant and how I'm going to eliminate the scale insect. And if you have that on your cactus plants or your succulents too, how you can also easily get rid of it too. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. Now guys, what I'm going to be doing, I like to use isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. And it's brilliant for getting rid of bugs on your plants. And it's a lot of a safer method than using a lot of the um, pesticides and insecticides that can be harmful. And um, this one is 100%, but you can I recommend one getting at least at 70%. And what I do with these type of cacti, um, because they're thick skinned, I use it neat. But if you're using it on delicate plants, such as some of the succulents, and also some of like, for example, orchids and other delicate plants, I'd recommend actually diluting it at 50%. Because although I've never had any problems, I've never had burn on any of my plants by using this, it's still safer to dilute it if you are using a delicate plant. As I say, I'm using this neat because it's one of the thicker skinned cacti varieties. And some people like to use a little, a couple of squirts of either Dawn um, washing up liquid or Fairy washing up liquid to get a bit of soap suds, but I'm going to be using it neat in this case. And what I like to do when removing bugs, and by the way, this method, isopropyl alcohol, works really effective with mealy bugs as well. So this is the same method for both mealies and scale. I like to use three different, either three different types of brushes here. Now, this one is the common Q-tip, cotton wool bud, and that's great for getting in between the nukes and crannies. 
I'm not going to be using it on this occasion with this cactus because it's spiny. Some of the little fibres tend to get, on, get onto the, um, the spines. But it's great to use with succulents, so that's always handy, a Q-tip. The next one is a um, eye makeup, um, eye mascara brush. And you can actually get these in chemists if you ask behind the counter. Um, this is a clean one, but if you can't get hold of one, any mascara brush, give it a thorough wash, make sure it's clean, obviously it's not covered in mascara. And it's great then for getting in between the nooks and crannies with all them difficult to reach um, areas of plants, especially with Mammillaria cacti because they're covered in spines. So they're great for getting right in between the spines and removing the bugs with the isopropyl alcohol. But watch out for a future video I'll do on that in the future of how to remove bugs from Mammillaria cacti because that is a very difficult task and I'll save that for another day. And in this case, I'm going to be using this little brush here. This is a little eye makeup brush. Again, a clean little eye makeup brush, perfect for dabbing in between and getting rid of uh, all the bugs. So what I'm going to be doing here, as I say, is um, pouring a little bit into a dish, like so, just a tiny, tiny little bit. You only need a dash of it. As I say, it's purely optional if you want to dilute it again or you want to put a bit of dash of the Dawn or Fairy Soap in there. I'm using it neat in this, this case because this plant is, is a thick skinned cactus. And then um, thoroughly load the brush up and then start at the corner. Now this is going to be a time consuming so I'm going to speed this up guys but basically look how easy that comes off. Isopropyl alcohol is absolutely brilliant. As you can see the little brush goes all in between the nooks and crannies. Look at that taking it off. It's good to see that they haven't caused any damage either to this plant, which is great, because you never know what the damage is like until you remove it. Look how easy that comes off, guys. This stuff, I tell you what, isopropyl alcohol is a dream to use. If you're using, sometimes you have to use, you know, powerful insecticides, especially systemics, if there's no other way of removing them. But I always find this works a treat also on mealybugs as well. It's brilliant. There you go. Make sure you thoroughly cover it like so. And then um, the next one on there. Really load up that brush in between all the parts. As you say, isopropyl alcohol isn't a systemic insecticide. It's purely just um, a removal. So it will remove bugs, but it won't prevent them from coming back again. So this is probably something with all plants. It's probably a bit of an ongoing task when it comes to removing bugs. I, I have to do this a lot sometimes with, when I see mealy bugs. And uh, nukes and crannies there. And then what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing the whole plant and I'm going to show you the finished results. Isopropyl alcohol is great for removing both mealybugs and scale insect. As you can see there, it's looking as good as new. And the good news is, the only real damage I can see that the, the scale has done is a little bit of corkiness around the very top there. But other than that, the plant's in pretty good condition, which I'm really pleased about. So guys, you know what to do, should you get the dreaded scale insect in the future. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons of cactus power as always from Ireland. Until the next video guys.